Hey guys, my name is Savannah and today we got another screenshot reveal from Planet Zoo. And the first one that you're looking at here is the little sneak peek of somebody's little nose. Very clearly the nine banded armadillo. Nine banded armadillo is coming with the grassland pack releasing on December 13th. We're only like three days away. I can't wait, I'm so excited. But there's not much to talk about with this first screenshot as with the rest of them. Just a little sneak peek. I love the way that Frontier is doing their screenshot reveals this time around, huge fan of it. But let's go ahead and jump to the next screenshot, which is this one. How adorable is that? We have our little nine banded armadillo friend standing on its hind legs, smelling the air, basking in the sun, whatever he's doing, he's adorable. And I'm really impressed with the design of this guy. Check out all the little hairs that are on the armadillo's belly and the detail on the little armored plates that cover his back and his forehead and even his little scaly looking feet and those claws. It's amazing. It's really great. It's really cool to see the improvement, I guess, and that each animal that they add to the game just keeps getting better and better and better. Obviously, on a generic front there, we had a couple little issues with the, the striped hyena, which are being addressed, by the way. But for the most part, every animal that Frontier puts out just keeps getting better and better and better. And that's the case, I think, with this nine banded armadillo. I cannot wait to see this guy in game. I think I've said it a couple times now, but I'm really hoping that they have some like dynamic movement to them, really, where the, their shell isn't just a um, like singular piece and rigid and doesn't really move around. So I'm really hoping um, that we get lots of that. And I think we saw that in the trailer we saw the little armadillo walk around and it looked like it had a pretty movable back uh, if i remember right but looking at the backdrop of this photo i do see what looks like a burrow in the background it looks like one of the habitat burrows i'm guessing maybe the large one because these guys i i believe are a little bit larger than like meerkats and stuff right like i would imagine they would use the same things as like the aardvarks use so I'm guessing that they're going to be able to use that little burrow habitat item that we have for some of the other animals. And then other than that, the grasses that I see in the background, I see again what I'm I'm still calling kangaroo paw because that's what somebody in the comments said it was called. I could be wrong, but it looks new to me. We have both the brown version and the purple version in this picture. Other than that, in the very far background, I think I see what looks like elephant grass. And in the very, very foreground, I still can't tell if that's a new grass or not. The little fuzzy bits make me think that it's a new grass. Because didn't we in the Wildebeest photo see like that same kind of thing, but it was brown? And I don't know the grasses in Planet Zoo well enough to know if that's new or not. It wouldn't surprise me being the grassland pack if we got a few new grass pieces. Uh, which I would be very excited for because they're great and you can always give me more foliage and I will never complain. But let's go ahead and talk about our nine banded armadillo friend very, very quickly, because if you're familiar with the channel, I like to give real life animal facts whenever we get a new animal or just when we're talking about an animal in general, because I find animals fascinating and I love to share. So I have some information here pulled up from the National Wildlife Federation. Approximately 20 species of armadillo exist, but the nine banded armadillo is the only one found within the United States. The term armadillo loosely translates to little armored one in Spanish and refers to the presence of bony armor-like plates covering their body. Despite their name, nine banded armadillos can actually have anywhere from seven to 11 bands on their armor. A common misconception is that the nine banded armadillo can roll up into a spherical ball, but in reality, actually only two species of armadillos do that, and they're both three banded armadillos. Nine banded armadillos are about 2.5 feet long from the nose to the tip of their tail and weigh about 12 
pounds. So they're kind of like a big house cat. Like I have, I have one cat that weighs nine pounds and the other one weighs 11 pounds. So slightly bigger than my cat at home. Nine banded armadillos are found in the southeastern United States, but their range has been expanding continually northward for more than 100 years. A few have been spotted as far north as Illinois and Nebraska. Armadillos have not yet reached the full extent of their possible range, which one study has predicted may reach as far north as Massachusetts. Climate change caused by increasing carbon in the atmosphere will further expand their potential range. So basically, as the Earth heats up, they're able to move further and further north because the climate is going to be more hospitable for them. They perform warm, wet climates and live in either forested or grassland habitats. Small streams are no obstacle for these amazing animals. The nine-banded armadillo can hold its breath for up to six minutes and can swim or walk along the bottom of the rivers. Ooh, I wonder if that means that these guys will act like hippos in the water. Do you think that they're going to add kind of that animation of them kind of bouncing, walking on the bottom of the water or swimming down below the surface? I am very curious about that. That would be absolutely amazing because that's actually something I didn't know about armadillos. So we'll have to check that out when we actually get our hands on the game. But that would be really cool if Frontier was able to add that. Their abandoned burrows are utilized by other animals such as pine, snakes, rabbits, opossums, mink, cotton rats, striped skunks, burrowing owls, and eastern indigo snakes. Populations of nine banded armadillos are increasing. Humans have killed off most of their natural predators and roadways have offered them easier means of travel to new habitat. Nine banded armadillos have a tendency to jump straight up in the air when they're startled, which often leads to their demise on highways. Oh, poor things. They are small enough that cars can pass right over them, but they leap up and hit the undercarriage of the vehicles. That's so sad. The fact that if they didn't get so scared that they would be just fine, but the, they jump up in fright and they actually hit the underside of cars. That's awful. They're also poisoned, shot, or captured by people that consider them uh, lawn and agricultural pests. So although it sounds like they are not threatened in the wild or struggling, certainly have some issues coexisting with humans as most animals do. But that's just a little bit about uh, the nine banded armadillo. If you have any other facts or want to talk about anything that, that I discussed, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to learn from you guys and just chat about these guys in general. I'm very excited that they're coming to the game. They're kind of another smaller uh, species of animal that you can kind of fill in the gaps in your zoo with, much like the prairie dog, the meerkat, the aardvark, those other kinds of animals. So they're gonna kind of fit in that same little niche that those other animals uh, take up as well. If you guys made it this far and enjoyed the video, and if you're excited for the grassland pack and our nine banded armadillo joining the roster, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. You can follow me in all of my social media platforms. All those links are down in the description below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.